Welcome to Asterigus, Curse of the Stars, an action RPG inspired by Greek and Roman mythologies. Play as Hilda, a young warrior of the North Wind Legion who is trying to find her father in the lost city of Athis. It is time to learn more about the gameplay features you will encounter in Asterigus, Curse of the Stars. The game takes place in the legendary city of Athis. Favoured with divine grace of the gods, it set at the financial and political apex of the entire world, only to crumble in one night due to a single curse. Aethys has seen many adventurers like you over the thousand years, so beware of the danger lurking within the city walls, or you'll meet a similar fate. Hilda's training in the Northwind Legion allows her to simultaneously wield two of the six weapons she has mastered. Seamlessly switching between weapons in combat creates a unique chain of attack and defensive moves. Players can experiment with different combinations of weapons to find the moveset that fits their fighting style or is tailored to a particular enemy type. Some inhabitants of the shelter will be able to help you improve your weapons and gear if you can provide them with the materials needed for the work. The six base weapons available to Hilda are a sword and shield, daggers, a spear, a hammer, enchanted bracelets and a magic staff. Each weapon and combination of weapons changes combat vastly. On top of that, Hilda possesses the ability to bestow her weapons with great elemental powers. Use magic, fire, frost or electricity to vanquish your foes. Or you can also traverse locked paths to new lands, shortcuts and secret areas hidden away. Players start their journey with the ability to power their weapons with magic. The other elements will be discovered as the events of Asterigus unfold. Be warned, weapon and element combinations have the potential to turn any battle in your favor. Or if you're not suited to that playstyle, provide a great advantage to foes. The world of Asterigus is inhabited by many dire beasts and creatures that stand in your path. Mighty minotaurs, armored lions, fire dogs, deadly scorpions and cultists that can turn into werewolves to name a few of the foes plotting your demise. The real challenge begins when you encounter one of Asterigus's bosses. There are many of these formidable foes that stand in the way of you and your destiny. Defeating your enemies will grant you experience and once you level up you will receive attribute and talent points. Attributes control your passive bonuses to health and arcane points, as well as raw attack damage. While talent points can be spent on learning new skills that can change your playstyle, allowing you to hone in your fleet footwork and learn artful fighting moves. With the horrors you will encounter, mastering combat is essential to your survival. Hilda's goal in Asterigus is to reunite with her father and his troops. However, as the story unfolds, she becomes focused in uncovering the truth behind the city's curse and why the once great Aethys is falling to wreck and ruin. The world of Asterigus is rich and full. There is more to do than slay hordes of enemies. Gather hundreds of collectibles to uncover deeper secrets of the city of Aethys whilst you explore the world. Be warned, tread with caution when necessary. The choices you make here have consequences and can affect the outcome of your adventure. The bravest warriors can complete challenges and forge their destiny with an iron will in the new Game Plus mode. Will you rise to the challenge and take on the cursed city of Aethys? Are you the hero the stars foretold of? The one who will uncover the darkest secrets, defeat formidable foes and decide the fate of the city and its people. Asterigus Curse of the Stars will be available on PC, Xbox and PlayStation on the 11th of October. Asterigus 
Curse of the Stars. Yes, it is out now, and we are going to play through approximately, I don't know, we'll play through approximately the first 15 minutes of the game. But what a great introduction, overview of the upcoming gameplay we had there right at the beginning. So let's play Astaragus. Curse of the Stars. So it looks like we've got uh, we've got three options here. Uh, I think I may go on story mode. That's that's possibly going to be the easiest. I I don't play a lot of these games, so how easy is it for a new player to get into a game like this? I'm going to go the easy route. Um, you yourself maybe would like to consider a more difficult level, but. I'm going to go the easy route. So, like I say, we'll play through. We'll do 15, 20 minutes, and other uploads and playthroughs will follow after this uh, after this video. So, look out for them. If you would like to see future episodes, smack the like button, hit the subscribe button, because no doubt this will become a little bit of a playthrough on the I'll channel. It's not yet time for you to take part in this mission. No! the winds. I blacked out? The magic aura here must be too strong. And here I thought I'd gotten used to it. This is the cursed city of Aphis after all. Huh. Oh, my things are all gone. Damn it. Just what I needed. Okay, before we actually start playing through this game, let me just say I have just dived straight into the game. I've not touched any of the graphic settings, so I may need to adjust some of the graphic settings and volume, but um, I will do them uh, a little bit later on. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to make that clear that I've not touched any of the graphic settings uh, on my PC, so I may need to adjust some of the settings. Base combat. Okay, I'm really going to have to learn the combat in this game and all the talents and everything. Damn. Uh, Some of my weapons are missing. I'm used to playing train what games. While I was knocked out? So we'll just uh, we'll just have a wander around. We'll just check everywhere we can. We'll look in every nook and cranny and uh, a little bit of exploring as we uh, find us feet in this game. There's been no word from my father or the Legion since they arrived at the Cursed City. I need to find them as soon as possible. This is my only chance to prove myself. Hmm. I can't dawdle here. Maybe I should have a look around first. Some salve! Luckily it's still Okay, we found some salve. No idea what that does. I presume it's a health potion or something. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. We got the, uh, the hint up on the screen. It's a healing potion. So can we smash things up? Let's have a little go with our sword. Here we go. Let's be a little bit destructive. I wonder how easy it is to get used to the uh, the combat systems in this game. All right, which way did we go? Where did we go? What do we do? Search and look around. Oh, check here. What check? What's going on here? I suddenly lost consciousness right as I jumped down. Check the surroundings for anything unusual. Can we smash our way through here? I'm not too sure. Or have we? Do we climb? Do we climb? Jump? Smash it all up? No, we smash his way through. I think. from Aphis? Huh. 
Oh, here we go. Could this be our first encounter with a bad guy? Stop! Okay, it looks like it's a thief and he has stole our weapons. We're not having that, are we, Wobbles? We're obviously going to chase him down, hunt him down, smash him about a bit and retake our weapons. Put down my weapons, hear me? How dare you steal this poor vulnerable girl's weapons? Potions. Oh, what's this? What's this? What is this? What could it be? What could it be? Open it up! Open it up! Oh, I need daggers. Right, we need daggers to pry that open. Now, we'll have to remember that because I presume that baddie, who's just ran off because he's afraid of this poor, vulnerable girl. Um, I presume he's got our, he, he has actually got our daggers. So, we'll have to remember to come back to that, uh, come back to that chest. Because there may be something worthwhile inside it. Treasure, maybe. Okay, we have some sort of weird creature. Now, yeah. It's like a uh, bunny rabbit on speed or something. I don't know what that was, but it was very unusual. Somebody has got an absolutely fantastic imagination to create this sort of thing. It's a very, it's a very colourful, artistic game. And it looks like it's going to have some really unusual um, enemies, creatures, people in it. Where's he gone? He's gone through there. Why, I can't get through there. Oh, we, oh, can we climb up here? Oh, I just clicked that off the screen. I presume it was uh, telling me I could climb up here. More potions just lying around. We will take everything we find. Is that a Magicite device ahead? Okay, so this is some sort of rest area that restores your health and it's also some sort of emergency teleportation device thingy ma jiggy. Okay, how easy is all this to learn? All the attribute points and talents, settings and perks. We've got eight points, eight available points. Um, I think I'll just distribute them um, evenly for now. I presume in the game we can actually uh, reset these. And uh, I did start it on the easy level. Maybe there is an option that we can actually, if it is too easy, just to uh, change the level, just to change the difficulty in game. I don't, I don't know, but uh, yeah, we'll just balance these attribute points out. Uh, is there anything else we can do? Oh, talents! I have five talent points. So we can uh, choose our path with our talents. Potion knowledge. Does it work? <laughs> I think I might come back to that. <laughs> Settings and perks. All these are actually locked. 
Yeah, they're all locked, so... Okay, let's carry, let's carry on with the game. We'll come back to that um, a, a little bit. We'll uh, we'll do the we'll do the uh, settings, perks, and talents uh, a little bit later. Uh, but we'll just let's just see how far. Oh, here we go. Lock on to target, and we're going to have a little bit of combat here, wobbles. Of which I'm going to have to learn the combat. <laughs> so this is the beginning. Learn how to fight. We need to learn how to fight. Oh, that was pretty easy. There's a few more down here. Lock on. We've got a sword and a big hammer. Yeah, they're, they're pretty... He's pretty easy. Didn't put up much of a fight. And another one. I think it's just breaking us in at the moment. Nice and easy. I'm unsure actually what buttons to press. I'm just... Uh, I'm just... I'm just pressing anything. Right, what have we Looks got? Like oh, oh, here we go. Way. Here we go. New skills. Right, I'll just I'll just see if I can lag my way through this. <laughs> Let's have a go. Oh look at that! That was a good combat move. How did I can't remember how I did that. Smashing. This is shooting fire at me. Let's just uh, slap him around a bit, soften him up. There we go, he's gone. Wow, oh, that was pretty easy. I need to hurry up and find my weapons. Potions there, get the potions. Staff, spear, bracelets, and my daggers. All right, let's drop them all back. Yes, we've got all our weapons back. More weapons. This will make getting to Aphis much easier. I don't know what the grey bar is. We've got, we got in the bottom left-hand corner, you've got the green, which is obviously your health. I don't know what the one underneath is, and I'm not sure what the one above that is. I presume it's something to do with magic or power-ups or something. I've no idea. Early days. It's uh, very much learning about the game. Alright, what's down here? Where do we go? What do we do? Explore everywhere and look around and search. Ha <laughs> there's that little weird thing. So what I'm actually trying to do is actually find my way back now to where that treasure chest was. Remember that treasure chest thing at the beginning that we couldn't open? There it is, right in front of us. Now we've got the daggers, so we should be able to open this. Here we go. What's inside? What's inside? What could it be? What could it be? Some sort of... Some sort of artifact, I think that was. I've no idea. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else there. Uh, so now I've got to find my way back to where we've just come from and uh, progress a little bit further. So just remember this is my first ever look, my first ever go at playing this. Um, I've not adjusted any of the graphics, the sound. I might have to turn the music down a little bit uh, for future videos. Can we climb up there? Why can't we climb? Can we climb up here? Let's give it a go. Doesn't look like we can. Apparently there is lots of hidden secrets in the game, remember? When you watch the preview at the beginning. Now I'm lost. Is there a map? I don't think there probably is not a map. I don't know. Can we get up there? Up here? Which way is it? I've got a terrible memory when it comes to trying to find my way back. Ah, here we go. I remember this. What's down here? Ooh, potions. 
There we go, it pays to look in every nook and cranny. Interact. So you can rest here. Take the potions. Looks like we are going to be getting involved in a little bit more combat here with these uh, with these weird creatures. Get back, you beastie! How dare you attack a young defenseless? Well, she's not defenseless. Is she? she's got a sword and a hammer, so she's actually quite lethal. Right, what we got down here? Looks it seems a little bit unfair, really. There's quite a few of them. can only lock onto one at a time, I believe. We're locked onto the wrong one there, but we've managed to defeat him quite easily. They're not very they're not very strong, these are, but we are playing it on easy mode. Remember, if you are a veteran of these sort of games, there is the option to play on a more difficult mode. I've sort of started off on the easy mode because uh, I don't I don't play a lot of these games anymore. So I've gone the easy option. He's a little bit tough here, but yay, we've got him. He's down level two. First impressions of this, it seems an absolutely wonderful game with uh, the, the, whoever's created this. The imagination they've got is absolutely uh, fantastic. What have we got here? The artwork in game and graphics is superb. Really nice looking. Oh my gosh, what is this? No way, have we got to fight that great big beast of a thing? This is where Wobbly now gets eaten alive. How do we own I can't get the camera angles on it. We sort of cornered. Hit it one with your big hammer. How do we get me big Have I got me big hammer? Uh, maybe I need to run around. Come on. Go on. Hack and slash. Look at it. It's a big bully, isn't it? Look at that. No, don't hit the floor. Oh, it's just squash me. Can we climb on top of it? I'm not too sure if we can. I don't know all the combat moves. I'm still learning them. Well, I'm not very good at this. It's quite tough, this is. This is the toughest predator enemy in the game that I've come across so far. Is it just a super... Oh, that was a smashing combat move, but uh, it's pretty useless, really, because I didn't... Uh, aim it on the uh, rather large looking crocodile dinosaur thingy-majig here. Get it from behind. That's it. I wish it would stay still. It's quite difficult to actually... Yeah. It's a tough old thing. Go on, keep hitting it, go on, hit it right down. Oh, it's got a big sword in its neck up the top there, Luke. Can we get that? Oh, I think we've got it, we've got it cornered. No, he's turned round, no, he's ran. Where's it gone? I think we've got it. Go on, a couple of more hits and it's down. 
Go on, go on, go on. He's gone. He's gone. I see. What am I doing? No. Just one more hit. Yes. We got it. It's down. Wow, what a beast that was. And seriously, seriously, I need to learn my combat skills. I, I, I was bashing any button there in a little bit of a frenzy, frenzy panic to try and beat that beast that was lurking down here. Well, what a fantastic um, time to just end the video there on beating that beastie. And uh, my first look, my first thoughts great the artistic work in this game seems fantastic um storyline seems good um look out for future episodes this is my first look i will continue my playthrough uh on this game so look out for them smack the like button hit the subscribe button if you're interested in the game go check it out yourselves it's now available so um yeah i'll see you in another episode um of this game real soon i will put i will create a playlist for the game as well so uh look out for that but uh, for now thanks for watching